Well, we've been waiting for quite a while. They've been circulating for a few minutes now. It's the K2 1000 meters. Australia in lane eight. They won last uh, last weekend. Hungary, yep. we have uh, Zoma Nui and Peter Vass, the young team, the under 23s. They actually came second in the Hungarian trials, which was a great surprise uh, last weekend. They came from absolutely nowhere, so it's going to be interesting to see how they're actually performing. There's two Hungarian crews here. The, the old the old dog is here, Zoltan Kammerer as well. Teamed they won the trials Tamasani. last week. Yeah. They won the trials, which was, which they was were quite surprising. They were very good in the semi-final there yesterday. As you see, Zoltan Kamara, he's, uh, took, when he was 18 years old, he was in Atlanta in the K1-1000. He's the most decorated Hungarian, apparently. He's uh, also, I think he's had a seat in the K4 for the last 15 years, uh, two gold medals he's in the Olympics. He's some medal collector. I think he's 37 years yeah, of that's age. Right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's give a bit of time to some of the others. Uh, Russia have a small team here. Uh, Lutz King and Zestov. Zestov obviously won the gold medal in the back seat of the K4-1000 two years ago. They're switching the, the K4 around in Russia at the moment. They're still experimenting a little bit. We have the Aussies in the middle there. Ken Wallace at Lachlan Tame won, won the World Cup last weekend in um, Portugal in a super fast time at 3.08. There is in your picture. Loki, as we mentioned, he's just changed from uh, K1-200 to uh, K2-1000. His worst ever result in his two outings was they came silver medal in the Worlds last year. Yeah. So he's setting up for Faller. Here they are on the start line. The Belarusians as and well in lane nine there. Flying start from Australia. The, the problem with Australia is the uh, they say that Loki Tame always thinks it's a 200 meter race, so he gets that flat out. We didn't talk about the the home crew there, the Germans, Mac. Max Reinschritt and Marcus Gross, they are the European champions there. They're back on form, aren't they? Because oh. they won the Worlds two years ago. Had a bit of a wobble last year when they were or they were to be taken a couple of times by the, the French pangs. They look very good now in their uh, in the early stages here. Well, you can see them in the middle of the picture. Uh, they're actually taking out an early lead from uh, Kenny Wallace, who's setting the pace uh, in lane number eight for Australia. Yeah. Lachlan Tame there in the back of the Australian boat there. It was a 200-meter paddler until... Uh, June last year and then suddenly put him in the back of that K2 at Kenny and they clicked and as you said they went and won a silver medal at the World Champs in Moscow. But this is Tremendous possibly their first, their first big test. The Germans they are looking to... The Aussies are looking very strong. They're also, Ken's also known for his great finishes so... Yeah and Lachlan Tame has a speed as well from his 200 meters so... Here they are in your picture we're talking about. A lot of interest back home. Kenny Wallace, Lachlan Tame, Lockie. Very Set, setting an early pace. Setting a really early pace. And I mean, the, like I said, he's known for a great finish. So The two Hungarian crews there in the middle as well are neck and neck. This could possibly be a Hungarian selection for the world. No, the Hungarian, the Hungarian sections are internally. The first section was uh, last weekend when a camera actually, uh, they won that. Very tight field, halfway. Shot there, Kenny. There, he's actually going in the 5,000 meters this uh, this this weekend because he felt a bit. He was cheating himself last weekend, only going in one race, which was the first time in 2005. He hasn't reached the final. Well, there's four boats in a row now. The Hungarians are coming with camera, it's coming forward there in the center of the picture. As they approach the last 400 meters. Germany in your picture, neck and neck. Russians are hanging on there as well. So it's really neck and neck between Renshrit and Camera. Very Camera smooth to get your, the head on shot. Your picture. And Germany has started to put the pace on a bit. They're Kenny ed. Wallace is known for his fast pace. He's going to have to really do something soon. 250 metres to go. The Australians are hanging on here on the outside. I think they're going to definitely have a fast finish. They're just maintaining the pace. Hungarians there. Camera is just trying to edge forward on, onto the Germans with the German aren't letting them by. Well, this is one of the most anticipated races of the weekend, coming into the last two. I'm looking meters. down now. It looks like Germany have The Australians are making a go. They're, they're certainly having a go here very hard the last 150. The stroke rate has come right up. They're out of picture there on the TV, but they're just under us here at the Grand Ken's really using his, uh, his finishing skills again to, yeah. to come back. So last 100 metres, it's Germany in lane four, Australia in lane number eight. It looks like Germany are at least a length ahead, so they're going to come out with a victory. Fast finishing, Kenny Wallace is going to take the second place. And the battle for third is going to be... 
Oof. Looks like Hungary, Hung the, the youngsters. Hung the young guys, yeah. Well, that was some finish by Germany. Yeah. Again, the home, home course, home crowd. Very impressive finish. Yeah. They're holding form since the European Champion Championships there, which they won three weeks ago. Well, it's a very impressive victory, and also extremely impressive in the context for, for Australia, the progress they've made. Again, Lockie, that's his worst ever result. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you said before, the speed at the beginning, and then the finish from Ken Wallace, which was he was always known for his finishes when he was racing K1, so I think the combination of the, the two really works. Well, the Australians were looking to prioritize clearly their K4 bait, but they still have other options. Well, it's a very impressive win for Germany. Zoltan Kamera just being pipped by the pace by the, the young uh, under-23 Hungarians. who didn't really have much form before the trials last weekend. So Germany have so far won the C1 1000, won the K1 1000, and now won the K2 1000. So it's a business yeah. as normal here in Duisburg, if you're honest. <laughs> a command and position, all right. I think they're going to give us the graphics for the, they're still calling unofficial, but 319, yeah. say, without the, the strong wind of last weekend, a bit slower. Germany take the victory from Australia, from the young Hungarians, and the old Hungarians came down in seventh. Poland fourth, Belarus fifth, the Russia still experimenting in